Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss three interesting C programs on operators. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss the program one. I have written hash include stdio.h void main int a is equal to 2, b is equal to 2, int c is equal to a logical r minus minus b which is predecrement. Int d is equal to a minus minus logical and minus minus b. So this is a post decrement, this is a predecrement. After performing these things, I want to display the a value, b value, c value and d value. If you know the answer, I request you to pause the video and please try by yourself and write what is the answer you are getting and then you verify whether your answer is right or wrong. Now if you does not know how to solve these questions, let me discuss. We have a variable a, we have the variable b, we have the variable c and we have the variable d. Okay. Now a value is initialized with value 2, b is initialized with value 2, c is not initialized, d is not initialized. Instead of initializing they have given an expression, we need to execute this expression, whatever the result will come that value will be stored in c. Similarly for the d, after that we need to display the a value, b value, c value and d value. Okay. Now come to the int c is equal to a logical r 3 decrement. Now what is the logical r? If you have two conditions, okay. If this condition is true, whatever it is, the second condition you no need to worry, the final result will be true. What is the logical r operation? If any one of the condition is true, final result will be true. Now look at this one. A value is what? A value is 2, okay. Logical r minus minus b. Now look at this one. This 2 is other than 0. If it is other than 0, then it will be considered as a true. Now true logical r, whatever it is, this one will be true. Will you agree with me or not? If it is true, if this is false, also the result will be true. If, as this is a true, even if this is also a true, the final result will be true. So, if this first condition is true, whatever the second condition, whether it is a true or false, the final result will be true. So, what is the property of the logical R is that if the condition 1 is true, it will not execute the condition 2, means it will not check the condition 2 because if the condition 1 is true, whatever the condition 2, whether it is true or false, the final result will be true. So, it will not execute this expression. So, the final entire this condition will be true. Okay, are you able to understand because this is true, whatever it is, this entire 1 will be true. If it is true, C will get the value as 1. Are you able to understand? If the condition is true, whatever the condition you have, entire condition is true, then it will result return a value called 1. If the condition is false, it will return a value 0. So this entire one is true. So C will get a value as 1. Okay. I hope you are understanding. Now int D is equal to A minus minus logical and minus minus B. Now what is this logical and if both the conditions are true, then only the final result will be true. Now look at A minus minus. A minus minus is what which is a post decrement. So first it will assign the value. What is the value here? 2 will be assigned. Let me write it. 2 will be assigned. Then it will perform the decrement. So here A value will be updated as 1. Okay. Logical and minus minus B. Minus minus B is what? Pre decrement. So first B value will be decremented then it will be assigned. Okay. Is it clear? Now look at this is 2 and this is 1. 2 and logical and 1. Now look at this is other than 0. So this is true. 1 is other than 0. So this is true. True and true. The entire condition will be true. So D will get the value as 1. 
okay now what is the value of a 1 what is the b value 1 what is the c value 1 what is the d value 1 okay so the entire result will be 1 1 1 1 so this is the output of this program lot of students where they will do mistake is that even they will perform this minus minus b pre decrement also they will perform and then they will get some other values if you do it then you will get some other value for the b okay is it clear so i hope you have understood how this program will be executed and why you should not do this minus minus b when you are evaluating this expression is it clear if you still have any doubts related to this program feel free to ask me in the comment section now we will come to the second program let me erase this one okay so this program will produce the output as 1 1 1 1 okay now look at this program int x is equal to 2 x bitwise and okay 1 this is the conditional operator what is the conditional operator you will have the condition you will have a question mark you will have statement 1 statement 2 okay is it clear if this condition is true then this statement will be executed if this condition is false this statement will be executed am i right or wrong now x value is 2 2 bitwise and 1 you need to perform is it clear we need to check it whether it is true or false okay already i have discussed about the bitwise end now what is the two value if i represent in a 4 bit register 2 will be represented as 0 0 1 0 in the binary format okay similarly 1 is a decimal if i represent it in a binary number using a 4 bit register it will be 0 0 0 1 now what is the bitwise and if 0 and 1 is there it will produce the output as 0 if both are 1 then only it will produce the output as 1 otherwise it will produce 0 so 1 and 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so if i convert this one binary number to decimal number i will get the value 0 so this is producing the value as 0 what I said, if you are getting the value here, it is 0, then it is false. If you are getting a value other than 0, then in the condition meaning is that condition is true. Please remember this point. Okay. If you are getting the, whenever you are executing in condition, if you are getting a value 0, then the condition is false. If you are getting other than 0, the condition is true. Now you are getting the value 0, meaning is that the condition is false. If the condition is true, it will print subscribe. If the condition is false, it will print like. Now, what is this condition? Condition is false. So, it will print the output as like. Okay. So, I hope you have understood how the bitwise end will work and how the conditional operator also will work. So, if you have any doubts related to this question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Now we will discuss another interesting question. Okay. Now let me read out the question. Hash include as today dot h void main int i is equal to 16. So i value is initialized with a integer constant as 16. Now i is equal to not i. Not i means this is logical not. Okay. Are you able to understand? We have three logical operators such as logical and logical or and logical not. Logical not i greater than 15. Whether it is true or false, we need to check it. Okay. Now look at. Remember one thing. Not i. Is it clear? Now i is what? i is 16. 16. So it is a positive number. Lot of students will think that first i need to perform this one they will think that they have to perform this one after that one they have to perform the logical not but that is not correct first you need to perform not i okay so logical not logical not means 16 is there 16 is other than 0 meaning is that it is true so not true is what false will you agree with me or not 
if I say good, not good means what bad. So similarly here, 16 is a positive number. So it is true. So not true, false. So it will get a value here as 0. Are you able to understand? So now check it. 0 is greater than 15. No, 0 is less than 15. So this condition, entire condition is false. So I will get the value as 0. I hope you are understanding. If this entire expression is true, then I would have get the value as 1. But if this condition is false, so I will get the value 0. So if I print the i value, what is the value I will get? I will get the value 0. So this is the way this program has to be executed. If you execute this program, you will get the value 0. So I hope you have understood these three questions. Why I am discussing these kind of questions are because these kind of questions will be useful for the students who are preparing for the placement and also various interviews. If you still have any doubts related to these three questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I request everyone to execute these programs and check whether you are getting the correct output or not. Okay, so thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.